Yay! Let me get a grip here. February 11, 2018, Sunday, Sunday walk. How y'all doing? Marcus Conti, Proof of Life. Ah, live. <laughs> Guys thought I was dead from the flu, right? Influenza wipes out Conti. <laughs> nope. So, um... <clears throat> I don't know, just proof of life today, February 11, 2018. I am uh, Marcus Conti, plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. Index number 101058-2016. Slated for March. March appeal. March 2018 appeal in the... Uh, Pellet Division, 1st Department, 27 Madison Avenue. So, <clears throat> nothing really to report in terms of uh, Conti vs. DSNY. It's the same old, same old. Uh, we will be, uh, the case will come up in March uh, at the appeals court, and the decision will probably be rendered two to three months later. Right? So, Guess what I wanted to say is I've been following, you know, kind of following the news and see. I don't have a lot of time these days to, um, you know, really become the investigative journalist and the reporter uh, maybe that I would like to be or could be or any of those things. But uh, I am watching closely and I, I like to uh, really just direct any of my my insight to the people that I watch, which is, you know, the I'm, I, what I, I think what I'm seeing is I'm seeing, I'm kind of watching the, uh, you know, the media and saying, well, who is, who's actually, actually reporting accurate news, you know, and, and real news, and as opposed to fake news. I actually like to coin a phrase. I don't think that I said in the previous video that I was in a pl in a place where all the lobbies are full of CNN fake news, and I want to I want to uh, tweak that and say CNN isn't necessarily fake news. What it is, it's it's selective news, right? Right? It's like you pick of all the things you can talk about, you pick the most irrelevant, self-serving pieces of the news. And then present that as being critical to all people and all types of uh, situations. That's really what organizations like CNN and MSNBC do. Is it's very selective. They select media. They select stories based on how it supports the donors and not at all, really, how it you know how it supports the. Uh, the people. So, who is supporting the people? You know, in, in independent media, you're almost seeing a complete shift, right? TYT, remember, remember the Young Turks? They seem to be kind of fully in bed now with the neoliberal idea of identity politics and and um, radical, you know, radical sensitivity. And Trump is stupid, and his hair is ugly, and, you know. And, and that's why you shouldn't vote for him, right? But then again, you had, from that school, you had Jimmy Dore, who seems to have split completely away uh, from the Young Turks and has his own vibrant show. There's H.A. Goodman, there's Styx Hexenhammer, there's Tim Black, there's H.A. Goodman. I think I said him twice. Um, Lee Camp, you know, Still going strong. The true pundit, Thomas Paine. Right? These are my heroes. These are the people that we still have to uh, look to for any sense of factual information. You know, news based on fact. Right? Because why? Because as we enter the uh, 2018, my view, look, nobody can predict 2020, but... 2018 is looking like, you know, like 
pretty much a total bust for the Democrats who, you know, in 2016 cheated Bernie Sanders, used mass mass election fraud tactics to to steal, literally steal an election away from the people's choice, which was Bernie Sanders, and give it to Hillary Clinton, who went on to lose the general election to, to a reality TV star. Right? Ten times the money she had, she still lost. So this is still the Democratic Party's chickens coming home to roost. It looks like 2018, nothing has changed. Still the same identity politics. So they'll probably lose the House, lose the Senate to the Republican Party, who's, again, I'm no, no fan of either one of them. I think that they'll continue to, uh, Democrats will continue to lose to the, you know, the, the, a party just as bad to the Republicans and that there really is, at this point leading into 2018, no representation of the people. But what is rising, I think, as we may approach 2020, again, no one can really say to any degree of certainty who, how that will look until 2018, November, those votes are cast, you know. But again, it's like, it's, it's almost certain that because the Democratic Party controls their own, you know, voting machines and has declared it a, it's not a democracy, right? They pick the candidate, right? So since they pick the candidate, they'll rig those machines and they'll pick all the unfavorable candidates that uh, the people would not have chosen, you know, so you'll expect Nancy Pelosi to somehow miraculously, you know, win her primary in San Francisco when the people in that district can't stand her. You know, how, how does that keep happening, you know? And so, right? And then they'll go on to lose to the Republican Party, who actually is seems to be slightly less, um, you know, less corrupt. <laughs> Whoever thought we would ever say that? The Republican Party is now less corrupt than the Democratic Party. Go figure. So there's lots of politics entwined with Conti versus DSNY. You know, honesty, integrity, people fighting, fighting from within. Hey, look, I'm still here, right? Life goes on, right? Life goes on. Right? You can't you can't stop it. Right? Things change, but essentially I haven't changed. I still believe exactly what I believed when this case started. Right? That the system is deeply corrupted, deeply servient, you know, to uh to, to a you know corrupt party. In New York it's the Democratic Party. Right? None of that has changed, you know. But, uh, you know, again, what I feel like my, my work was in this whole thing was to establish a public record on YouTube where people can go back and view this case indefinitely. They can read the actual, the actual material that was submitted to the courts. It's all there. Could, could see scores and scores of videos of what is really my opinion and my legal arguments. And that someday they can say to themselves, look at this guy, this guy, th this is how you, this is how you fight and potentially win, right? I'm going to use his example and I'm going to do the same thing. And that's, you know, I guess that's my, what my hope is that it becomes like kind of folklore, you know, for like... Like a folk hero. <laughs> Conti's a folk hero. Because what? He stood up for himself. Yeah. But that's all. I'll keep you guys posted on... Um, I hope all everybody's well inside DSNY. You know? Life goes on, you know? it's Again, I lose. If that case... If I lose, then you lose. You know, they're going to just... It's going to go right back and probably worse. It's going right back the way it was and probably worse because if they can get away with it, you know, they get away with their crimes, you know, DSNY. But uh, if we win, then 
it will it will clearly be a new chapter, right? If the case should get thrown back to a lower court and we do have the opportunity to move forward with a jury, then it would be it'll be very it'll be something very important. It'll be very uh, it'll be very it'll set a heavy precedence, right? Now, will DSNY ever allow it to go back to a court? Uh, you know, a jury in front of a jury, probably not, because again, up to this point, not a single one of them has ever been sworn in. There's never, I've never had a single day in court. It's all been summary judgment up to this point, which means that judges have decided, <laughs> and administrators and agencies have decided. But the people have never decided. The people have never have never been heard, right? So, again, if we win on summary judgment and the judges say Conti has proved his case, give him what he's asking for, then we win. We win in a big way. If the judges say Conti has proven his case, but we're going to recommend this case back to uh, uh, the lower court for a jury trial, then we win again. If they rule that Conti is 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 stupid and and, and 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 his case has no merit and that there is no quota in New York City and that there was no retaliation and there is no discrimination and there are no racially divided organizations within the Department of Sanitation, if they rule against me and they agree to all those things, then we lose big and then we take it to... We, we're, we're, we have no other choice but to go one step further and go to New York Court of Appeals continue and we lose there where do we go Supreme Court of the United States of America Washington DC so uh, again I hope all is well and some nice nice cutaways here in the rain New York City it's been a mild winter you know it's been pretty mild it's raining not a lot of snow what do you know it'll be spring again soon we'll be back in the Back in the warm weather. Right. Peace, everybody.